there's a new Etsy app. USPS is messing with shipping rates again. There's a missing body and a special tool edition in today's July 22nd edition of Etsy Seller News. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, what is happening? What is going on? Hopefully you guys are doing awesome. Uh, I am back with the all new, shiny, brand new edition of Seller News, bringing you the latest uh, news and updates and features that are applicable to you as an Etsy seller or an e-commerce seller in general, or they're just, uh, they may be interesting uh, in the, the same realm of uh, selling online. So I want to bring that stuff to you guys to keep you informed. All right. The first thing I want to share with you guys is the announcement that Etsy made in the launch of the all new seller app. Now this app has been around for quite some time. Just a lot of people didn't know about it. They were doing a lot of beta testing. Um, a lot of people, pretty much anyone could use it. Some features were available to some sellers some features weren't available but either way you could use the app uh, but a lot of people just didn't know that it existed so they've been uh, getting feedback and continuing to tweak the app uh, so they got it to where they want it and they finally have announced the launch of the app and basically are promoting it now so that everyone downloads it and uses the app uh, and starts using it and gets away from using the sell on Etsy app the plan is uh, Etsy has said that they plan to remove the sell on Etsy app after the end of this year. So uh, either way, you should probably start using the seller app and stop using the sell on Etsy app because it's going to eventually go away uh, and they're going to stop supporting that app. Now, the seller app has a lot of the same features. It's just it's a it's for lack of a better term, it's prettier designed, uh, it, uh, but the features and the functionality kind of works a lot of the same way if you've used the sell on Etsy app. And you'll notice that as you start using the seller app that all the same stuff is there, uh, but it's formatted a lot better. Uh, it's um, a little bit more functional, uh, has a better at a glance view, and there, there is some new stuff uh, on the app, but a lot of it is the same. It's just formatted in a slightly different way. Um, <clears throat> so the biggest thing is, you know, the immersive at a glance dashboard. And I'm going to do a full video demo of this in a future uh, podcast or, or YouTube video, but I'm going to cover some of the some of the highlights here. Um, but the immersive at a glance dashboard basically shows you all the time sensitive stuff. So as soon as you log on to the app, it's going to give you the dashboard with new orders, new reviews, um, orders that you have to ship out that are maybe due today or overdue, um, announcements that Etsy has made. So different things like that right on the dashboard so you can easily see at a glance what's an overview of my shop, sales, um, sale, you can sort by sales day, week, yesterday, whatever you want to do there. So it's a it's a pretty in-depth at a glance view. Uh, but most importantly, you can see your time sensitive stuff that you need to take care of. Uh, the brand new feature of the seller app is the explore function. So the explore function is almost it looks pretty much identical to TikTok if you guys are familiar with TikTok or um, Instagram Reels. So you can post videos on the Explore from the app that go to the Explore function where buyers can see, they can also go to the Explore function on their Etsy, the regular Etsy buyer app um, for buyers. And they can go to the Explore function and see what creators are posting. And then from there, click on the video and go directly to that seller's shop. So it's a way for you to engage with buyers and post a video content for them showing you behind the scenes showing you making stuff um, so it's it's like i said it's very similar to TikTok. people can continue to scroll through the videos to see stuff that's uh, maybe relevant to them or interesting to them but it's really geared towards the handmade creator so it's it's kind of uh, it's pretty cool i think it'll be interesting to see how it uh, how it does uh, they've been testing it for a long time a lot of people had the explore function um, pretty early on uh, and got 
certain perks and, and things like that for trying it out and giving feedback on it. But you will see the explore function right in the main dashboard and you can go to that and start posting videos if you'd like and then it'll go to um, the explore tab in the other app. Uh, the other thing that you can do is buy and print shipping labels from the app. Uh, obviously, if you have a Wi-Fi printer, then you can send them to your Wi-Fi printer to print out. I'm not 100%. I never tried to do it on the Selenets app, so I'm not sure if that function is new or not. Um, but either way, they are touting that function on the new seller app that you can buy uh, and print labels from the app directly. So that can come in convenient, especially if you don't have your, uh, your computer handy. I still like to do that stuff on my computer just because it's a little bit easier, I think, to have it on a bigger screen. Um, but if you don't have it handy, that's a good feature to have. The other new feature is they do have message reply templates already in there. You've always been able to save templates to messages for common questions that maybe sellers or um, buyers have, but they have some pre uh, preset templates already in there as well. So that is definitely new. You don't have to use them. You can still save uh, your own message templates, uh, which you know I've always done. It just for common questions, uh, it's easier to have a template so you can quickly just with one click literally send out a message and not have to sit there and retype the exact same message that you continually send out. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, and just like the other app, um, you can create listings, view stats, view your orders, do all that same stuff. You can upload pictures, upload videos for your listings, um, and edit that stuff right within the app. You don't have to use, uh, the actual, uh, you know, your computer. If you're on the go, you can do pretty much anything on the seller app. Now, um, there's very few limitations, uh, that I've seen, uh, if any, so I'm going to play around with it a little bit more, but I'll be back with another video kind of doing a deep dive into the app so you know got, you know what's going on um, and you can kind of see. But yeah, it looks pretty good to me. I think it's a good thing. Um, they're continually investing in the uh, seller experience as well as the buyer experience, and this is just one way that they are uh, showcasing that. All right, so moving on to USPS. Oh my goodness, they are constantly messing with us as sellers with uh, the rate increases and uh, changes that they're making. But hey, at the end of the day, we can't control those things. We just have to go with it. Um, so there was some confusion uh, a few days ago where USPS announced that they were ending reseller discounts and everyone freaked out because obviously when we think of reseller discounts, we think of the discounts that we get through printing through Etsy, printing through eBay, Pirate Ship. Those platforms offer discounts for resellers um, because they're doing it in mass. You know what I mean? You have thousands and thousands, millions actually, of sellers. So they give you a discount. Whereas if you go to USPS uh, in person, you're not going to be getting that discount. That's the retailer price. So they announced that and everyone freaked out. They're like, are we getting rid of, are they getting rid of all the discounts that we get through Etsy, through eBay, all that stuff? Uh, so after further research and uh, some people looking into it and contacting USPS, uh, they have said that the reseller discounts are not the same as the commercial discounts. Um, the, the, basically the e-posted discounts, the discounts that we get through purchasing online, they are, the reseller program is different. It's an older program that I guess they rolled out for third party, um, third party sellers, basically to try and recruit people to come to them to buy shipping and they would get discounted shipping costs. So I don't, it's kind of a weird murky little program, but I guess maybe if you had like a mom and pop store and you had, you, you basically could recruit other people that sold stuff, you'd be able to give them a discount and you'd be like kind of like a mini uh, USPS hub. I think that's what they're talking about. And it's kind of what they alluded to um, in their explanation. So as of now, it shouldn't affect us as Etsy sellers, eBay sellers, Amazon sellers. And Amazon already came out and said, it's absolutely not affecting them. Uh, Etsy hasn't said anything about it yet, but I'm assuming they haven't because it's not going to affect them. Uh, if it did, this would be a huge earth shattering news, not to mention it would really hurt um, the economy and the small businesses out there if they took this program away. So it's kind of like a, 
a, a program that was out of out of date that they're getting rid of it what it seems like so if you hear this don't be confused i'm bringing this to you in case you hear kind of uh through whispers of it or through the grapevine uh someone may get it wrong and say that it's ending so don't freak out it seems like everything is going to be okay but i just want to let you know that that news is out there um but it should be it should be fine uh from everything that i am seeing so hopefully usps stops messing with the the online and the small business sellers out there and uh, everything is calm you know calm and uh, smooth sailing for a while all right the next bit of news sticking with the shipping uh the usps theme fedex or this was just in the news and i had to bring it to you guys so there was basically a body um containing remains of a 32 year old georgia man uh, basically that got lost in a FedEx pass package. It was shipped out three years ago um, from one medical, one medical examiner to, I think, another medical examiner or another um, a lab to get some studies on it, and they freaking lost this package. They lost this dude um, that they were trying to run you know, tests on. And he's literally been missing in the mail in a FedEx package for three years. Mind you, it was also against protocol for them to ship via FedEx. Uh, they cannot, medical examiners, I guess, are not allowed to ship um, dead bodies or remains through FedEx. Uh, they're only allowed to ship them through USPS, which I guess makes sense because USPS is a federal uh, entity, but they have to go through special protocols even through USPS. So I don't know what this dude did. I don't know if he just literally went to the FedEx store, uh, purchased a shipping label, slapped it on the box, and shipped it out. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea. But either way, this poor guy uh, gets lost in the mail. His family can't bury him because he's literally missing. Um, there's a bunch of memes about this online, uh, you know, people making jokes and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not going to get into that stuff and uh, be disrespectful, but uh, literally, can you imagine if uh, you were supposed to get a, a package or you this package just showed up on your on your uh, porch and you open it and it's some dude's remains? I mean, this this was just crazy. So I want to know where this guy is at. What happened? Where was he shipped to? How was this guy lost? Was he sent to the wrong place? Did someone get it, open it up and freak out and and get rid of it like I, I i don't know it's just weird that i mean i know regular packages go missing all the time um but this is just a whole nother level of missing packages uh so i don't know i'm interested to see if this this guy's ever gonna get found i mean it's been three years so um I, it's not likely but to me this is just crazy that something like that can happen but <laughs> that's why i'm bringing it to you guys so you know i don't know if you've heard about it or not but uh so don't the next time your package gets lost in the mail, I guess you can maybe uh, not be quite as upset because at least you didn't lose a family member or a medical examiner didn't lose a family member that was um, getting shipped to an, another place to get some uh, lab studies done on him. So glass half full type of stuff, I guess. All right, I'm going to leave you guys with one last segment. This is a new segment it's going to be tool of the week and not talking about uh, back in the 90s when you didn't like someone and you called them a tool. Uh, I'm talking about something that is some type of tool that will help you in your e-commerce or your Etsy business. I'm going to bring to light in this segment so you guys can check it out, use it, benefit from it. Um, some of this stuff may be new to you. Some of this stuff may not, but I'm going to bring it to you anyway so you guys can check it out. So the tool of the week this week is craft kit craft kit is um it's a pretty cool email tool that you can use you can sync it with your etsy shop and it's really if you're if you're wanting to start an email list and you don't want to go through all the rigmarole of like um you know other providers out there it can get a little bit difficult it can get um, very convoluted you can use craft kit which makes things a lot easier it has pre-defined templates in there uh, once you set them up it, and you basically click on or off and it'll automatically send emails to your customers. You can send emails for order confirmations, shipment confirmations, delivery confirmations, and then you can send uh, an email for a feedback request as well. Basically asking them, hey, 
would you mind leaving me a review? As you guys know, reviews are super important. Uh, so this is just another way to reach out to customers to keep them informed, keep good customer service, get them on your email list, and hopefully bring them back to buy from you again. Because the emails that go out do have recently ordered stuff on the bottom, as well as an offer to sign up to your email list. So it's twofold. You can get people on your email list um, to reach back out to them another time. Uh, and you can also prompt them to buy more stuff because it does give a preview of previously ordered stuff. Um, I think it's kind of random and it goes basically on what was recently ordered from your shop. All you have to do is click on it at the bottom of the email, go back to your shop uh, and they can buy from you. But either way, uh, building an email, email list is super important to grow your business. It's a great way to grow your business down the road. Uh, and this is a really hands-off way uh, to be able to grow your email list without manually writing emails, scheduling emails, sending emails, um, which can get um, you know a little a little hard to do. I know if you're not tech savvy, it can be a little daunting. So this is just another way to do that. I'll include a link to CraftKit below so you guys can test it out if you'd like to test it out and kind of see how easy it is to use. Again, it's very simple. Um, it's a good way to basically get your feet wet if you want to build, start building an email list with a, kind of a hands-off approach, but also keep, you know, really good customer service uh, and also benefit from, you know, getting more reviews, keeping customers informed as well. So it's multifaceted benefits of having this and you don't mind, you don't have to send emails for every step. And I probably wouldn't suggest doing it for every single step, but maybe one or two, um, you know, definitely delivery, um, delivery confirmation and possibly feedback requests uh, are good. And Etsy does automatically send out emails as well on their end uh, from their site for order confirmations and stuff like that. So think about how you want to use it, but it is just another tool to put in your tool belt um, that could definitely benefit your business if you guys want to take advantage of it. So again, I'll include the link below. Try it out. Don't try it out. Either way, it could benefit you. But if you don't want to use it, you already have your email list. You already have your email provider. No harm, no foul. Just wanted to bring it to your attention that it is there. But that is it for today's episode of Etsy Seller News. All the stuff that you guys need to know, may not want to know, whatever the case may be, I'm bringing it your way. Uh, but I'll be back next week with another uh, podcast or two to help you guys out with your Etsy biz. Have an awesome rest of your day.